Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Warcast. And I'm Colson Kelfisil, and I'm here to judge Christian. Uh, yes, there's going to be a lot of judging <laughs> going on on Netrunner Team Warcast. This is RPC Regionals, um, role playing convention regionals from Cologne, 28th of May. It is the top cut, and I made it to the top cut. Woo! Woo! So You're you saw important. Me. You're like a big deal in your meta now. Yeah, I'm such a big deal right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how wait, to tell wait, this. Wait, wait. Did you feel like a big deal? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm oh, judging you. I'm, I'm, look at me. I'm just, I'm just a scrub here. This is the second time I got in the t uh, regional top cut in, so in my like, life. So you're like, you're somewhat a big deal. I did achieve something I wanted to achieve in this in this uh, season, which is I got into uh, top cut from the regional because I really wanted this play mat. That's why I switched over my play mat. It's really pretty. Was that Yarrow? Really that was Yarrow, right? I think it was Yarrow. <laughs> oh, so I'm playing against Rene. I'm playing with my uh, Andromeda deck, uh, and Rene is playing his uh, NH deck. <laughs> Yeah. So, regional Meisterschaften. Yeah. Damn. Meisterschaften. I love how that name just takes like half of the planet. Yeah, this is the German, <laughs> German way. Your words are, our words are so long. Just in uh, case you, you forget where you got this. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Andromeda starts with nine cards. Uh, Rene will draw a card first time he creates a server each time. A new server. Usually, the matchup here is not that, that bad. Yeah, crim I mean, criminals are are pretty good usually against against the yellow decks. Worst that thing that could happen to you is sweep sweep. Mm, no sweep sweep. Yeah, no sweep sweep. So that you're fine, because sweep sweep against Andromeda here can really ruin you. It basically activates Sansan right away, and it yeah. activates any kind of big guys in front of uh, HQ. But ho thankfully, you didn't see any sweep sweep. Okay, so so things are already on my side. Yes, in a way. Yes. <laughs> I also have to say that um, we, I come, I'm fighting my way uh, from the lower bracket. This is the lower bracket because Rene lost uh, last last game, yeah. And I was in lower bracket and I won against Sebastian. And you consider you just left. Oh, yeah, you're back. I just, I'm back. <laughs> I decided, like Yaro just convinced me to to stay here. <laughs> no, uh, no Christian, I, you have to keep playing. But I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. I just, I got the mat. I have everything I wanted. <laughs> Let me go home. <laughs> Uh, you were laughing about this was a short tournament, so that was okay. But on longer tournaments, <laughs> having to play in top cards, like pfft, yeah, I oh know, man. I know, I know how it feels. Uh, I, more net runner. When I was at the Greek Nationals and I made it to like, uh, I got third place there. When I was playing for the second place, I was like, I just want to go home, man. Just like, just use that sense and just play it. Just score your agenda. <laughs> sure gamble um, and a um, the Desperado uh, trashing the. That was uh, a pretty good hit. Sensi Guilds. That was a pretty good hit here. Yep. And I will discard one card, but can play a th one, exclusive last one. party. No, nope, that's going to be a cloak. And oh. trash, trashing the the political operative. Well, it's not really needed, right? It I sometimes mean, helps, but I, I I just I'm just testing it all the time and never found a really good use for it. I don't I never got look, the value look, out of it. If this. you're playing against Bayana, it's a very good inclusion. But against any eights you don't really need it. Because the thing, you run yeah, its Q and you're gonna use it, you're gonna pay one credit, and then you can trust the sound for five. In the meantime you could just, you could have just run it. Of course it could be iced, but I don't think you're gonna see much ice against Andromeda because Andromeda goes fast. So against the Palana, uh, pa Panyana, pa Payana. Payana. Paella. Uh, is Paella is um, I often feel like they have so many upgrades yeah. that I that it's just you know like a like a drip in the ocean. You need like, co you need a combination of um, political political operative and councilman. Yeah, but that requires me to play two cards now. It's like two deck slots, and then I play just two councilmen and. and it's yeah. good. I, I actually went with two councilmen and um, whatever running HQ and that is uh, let's let's get get back yes, into yes, the yes, game yes, 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 yes. running HQ and that is the um, Cyberdex I'm trashing the second um, uh, Sansi here really good but I'm down to three credits pet uh, campaign damn are you gonna kill it you didn't kill it another pet campaign not killing yeah. the other thing either. yeah no no can't kill it I don't have too much, enough money but I'm wasting a lot of clicks uh, I'm trying to find a sand sense I saw a sweet blade yeah. So you're playing um, Refractor, Sweet Spill, Corroder? Yeah, the standard um, style Sweet. I've been yeah. talking about this deck for... I, I'm very successful with this deck for a while now. Yeah. So, and it's actually not really bad against NEH usually, uh, because if you get out all the, all the breakers, all the ice is paper thin. Yeah, I had to switch to Andromeda as well, like with pretty much the same uh, setup as I had in Silhouette. It's exactly like yours, but Andromeda I feel like has a better start against those fast decks. 
Yeah. Because you get the nine cards and you basically have the setup to actually put down security testing and all those things early. The extra turn that you get from the four extra cards is just really good. But something that we see here is I'm not really having a great start. Yeah. I'm, um, I don't have any card draw. And uh, yeah, I have to waste a lot of clicks to just check these cards. He has to, can start so many things. It feels like you're a naked baby in the water right now, just drowning. Just with, yeah, not, with, not, just with a Desperado there. Not, not a lot of board presence. And yeah. I'm, I would love to see like a Crota or, a, or a, you know, something. Switchblade, Switchblade is not going to cut it, especially yeah, in, with only one self. Switchblade is not doing anything here. Special order, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Get a Corroda. Corroda, refractor at the bottom. Uh, yep, that's <laughs> that's great, isn't it? And the, <coughs> and the Corroda is up, up top? No. Yeah, I, I'm s suddenly, you know that when you look for a card and you don't find it, like, oh, yeah. oh my god, it's maybe not in this deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're like, whoa. And maybe what, I discarded what, what, it accidentally. You don't have the promo? <gasps> I'm not, I usually don't use the promos. Oh, uh, man. For are the you camera, like, man. Are you like a cool kid? Not using promos and stuff? It's, it's all, everybody. And, and look at Rene starting with three bad campaigns. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Ouch. Oh my god. That is not what you want to see in any no. aids. Now, no, she, that, now she can focus on just getting cards. Yeah, and it's also as an Andromeda, usually one of your weapons is, um, is um, economy, economic, and economical pressure. Yeah. And with three pet campaigns, that's out of the window. And it's already like the, the third round or something. Oh, look, he even has a card draw engine. Mm, it's like he draws whatever he wants. You do feel like a naked baby in the water right now. <laughs> Seriously, this is, he's like <laughs> running away from this, with this game from me. Um, uh, uh, the deck was wrong. Yes, around. I was going to say, like, what was that? <laughs> what kind of like ADHD move was that? Like? I was wondering about this as well. Huh? What did I do that? <laughs> Am I trying to feel if what the next card is going to be? He's even denying you the R&D access by just putting another ice there. That you yeah. have no yeah. idea what it is. It's really bad. Uh, I was hoping... I also have no security testing. Look on the bright side. You got rid of the senses. Run on archives. Who run on archives and he's using the taxi? Hmm. Why did he use the taxi? What? Or maybe I ran on the Jackson. Oh, maybe you ran on the Jackson. Oh, yeah, you do have a... Uh, oh, yeah, I ran on Jackson. That's why I yeah. was playing with a, with a credit, because I'm not getting credit now. Yeah. Okay, so he suffled the senses back in. That's pretty... Oh, there we go. Secure testing and data sucker. That's great. That's, that's great, yeah. Data sucker in the stealth suite? Uh, I told you, man. <laughs> it's great. What? But how do you... You don't have two stealth credits, then. You don't have two cloaks. I have two cloaks. How do you play with two cloaks? And you need another MU. The this, the data sucker is replacement for a third cloak. I, it, watch the Code Marvelous episode, all right? What? <laughs> we have no time to explain. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, we have no time to explain because Renee is drawing like fucking crazy. Yeah. I just cut some chart. Installing a lot of cards. <laughs> I'm gonna bleep this out. You should bleep that. Uh, installing a lot of cards and uh, yeah I don't really have any like, now the secure testing really helps me but uh, it seems like uh, the board of Renee is built up and I like catching up with him will, will be a pain in yeah the because you need to run security testing and then actually just check if that's a sensi again yeah. so that you don't give him speed and I mean, I, uh, that's already like three clicks down the, down the drain just to check those yeah, cards and exactly. run secure testing uh, so the first round is going to be a draw and it could also be a sound which you can't trust yet well, you could. You get three now, and then you could run it and trust it for five, yeah. But it's still not gonna cut it. Alright, run secure testing, checking this one. Sansan? Yes. Sansan? You gotta kill it. You gotta kill the Sansan. Yeah. Is the other one Sansan as well? <laughs> oh, that the other one is gonna be a Sansan as well. No, oh, it's a mum, but. Well, I cannot trash it, so don't have, to, don't have the money any. Well, at least uh, we, I was able to avert the Sansan catastrophe. Why didn't he res a Mamba? Like, use the Mamba Temple to res a Mamba Temple and then refresh the recurring credits? Yeah. Let's play. Rename is play. That's what cost him the game. <laughs> the one credit from that one Mamba Temple. Yeah, that's how it works, man. <coughs> so, Renee tries to, uh, to uh, protect his server here. Yep. Something that Rene does is he uh, he likes to play silent, which is kind of confusing, so I have to ask him what he did there. Yeah. Okay, so that could be another Sansan because it's protected, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Did the secure testing run? Would you play with Cloth just to counter this deck? Uh, no, not in a, in a uh, criminal. 
Yeah, because it has no recurring. It has no way to bring it back, right? Ooh, inside job. That's nice. So you yeah. get, you're exactly at four to gain a Desperado credit and actually trust it if needed. Yeah. Do it, oh, do yeah. it, so Christian. I, so I got, got two credits and then ran. Do it, Christian. Yeah. Nice. Second, second... Uh, so uh, there is Sanson one... Averted. There is one Sanson left in like 35 or so cards. Yeah, but now, of course, you can just install in, uh, the agenda actually in here. And then what I will, I will do. Like, uh, there's just so many inside jobs I can do. It's a bit risky to install an agenda there, I think. Hmm. Is that a uh, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you run security testing, getting them, them data suckers, which are very important. Hmm. I'm not sure how important they will be. I mean, he does run little engine, which could be great to actually um, bring him down and just spend one stealth credit with your refractor to break it. But at the same time... Uh, it looks bad for me. It looks yeah, dire. exactly. It I'm looks still very behind. Dire. It's, uh, I really need to get up more breakers. There we go. Probably getting the, the, um, uh, yeah, refractor. the refractor. So this is cool. I still don't have enough stealth credits, though. I need, uh, still need a second stealth credit. Yeah. No, you're yes. fine You're fine with one. You can break the little engine. Because you can bring it down to five with data sucker and then just pay the one stealth credit. Yeah, but what if there's? it's like an assassin? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, assassin. Who plays that? <laughs> Data Sucker is actually pretty cool against uh, Archangel because you bring it down to five. I know, that's why I'm, I'm playing it. It's really good. Okay, okay. I see it's what you're doing. I guess Data Sucker kind of like works with the... Uh, one, one with less influence than a cloak credit. So yeah, you're exactly. saving one influence. You cannot install three cloaks anyway, so you can just yeah. play two cloaks and a Data Sucker. Yeah, but at the same time, Switchblade is harder to set up because you got one less uh, stealth credit now. That's that's true, but you have this, um, the um, um, silencers anyway. Unless you're one of the cool kids and you just bring every every sentry down to zero and then just spend one stealth credit to break it. Y you can do that. That's, that's <laughs> possible. I did it m multiple times. It's good. Cool kid, Chrissy. Oh man, thinking about this hard. Yep. Tough, tough, tough situation. All right, Rene decides to ice up the HQ. And ice up the HQ. Oh my god. That shouts. We have a lot of. Oh yeah. Okay, oh. we're gonna gonna get. <laughs> and the finishing move. They cooked uh, the grass. Is, this is bad. The NSA right. Probably all the friends, all your friends viewers will just like trust up me now. <laughs> Alright, so if he gets the this Astro Scourge, he will be in Score Town. In before uh, Sneak Torbeta. <laughs> yeah, Sneak Torbeta would be great now. We'd love to see a Sneak Torbeta now. <coughs> Mandatory inclusion from here on, Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, then my, my next deck uh, certainly had two Sneak Torres in there. Oh man, I should actually play it. It's such a good card. It's such a good card. Um, yeah, but sneak turret and stealth is not really. Yeah, viable. that's the thing. You can, you can trust the uh, you can trust the data sucker right now and just like trust yeah. the sneak door for the second cloak when you get. But but sneak door with data sucker at such value. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking for too much value. I need value. You can just trust the corroder as well. <laughs> you use corroders. <laughs> Whatever R and D not gonna run there. Uh, HQ is all I need. Hmm. Oh man, you're hardcore parkour thinking here. There's lots of thinking going on. You're rifle, rifle suffling. Ooh, right. sweet blade, you are yeah. going to try R&D, I think. Gotta get my breaker suite out, because again, if my breaker suite is out and I have my cell credits, then servers melt away, yeah. right? Silencer, maybe? Or are you playing? <sighs> are you gonna siphon? <laughs> I don't have the credits. <laughs> You're fine. You don't have stealth prints. Oh, R and D. Okay. So that is and a turnpike. And it's a turnpike, yeah. boy. That's fine. You can still get in. You pay uh, three data suckers. Yeah. yeah. One stealth credit, and then one for the wraparound, and you gain one back. Yeah. I'm gonna see one card. That value. Yep. And. <laughs> Cyberdex very sweet. <laughs> so much effort to get Did and see the Cyberdex very sweet. <laughs> so I didn't trash the Cyberdex very sweet because I didn't want him to draw into another agenda, but yeah, of course he has the uh, <coughs> <as> script. <coughs> with a, with a breaking, um, breaking news, with a... 
I'm dying here, man. Well, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love like this is a very complicated run, and then just to get get the punish for this, it's great. Oh, um, Kleber used Bertha Kleber to score as Astro Script, so now he's at three points and has Astro Script token. Really the best setup for him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's looking good. I don't. Yeah. On the other hand, you are looking. Didn't get very the Astro um, Better Sucker token from this run. Uh, which run? No, you didn't. The security testing, right? Oops. Yeah, you didn't. I think you really forgot the the pet campaigns as well. Misplay. Not misplay, actually, just mistakes. Is that a, is that another Astro? He's just putting it... I love how he's just putting it in the middle. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have to, the, the, the space. This is not an Astro, it's just an, a card installed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is it exactly in the middle? And look at me drawing start. I drew all of the switch blades. Yep. Oh my god, nice. you played three switch blades? Yep. Wow. Gotta have that breaker! Yep. He really likes Switchblade. Yo, bro, I heard you like Switchblade, so put more blade in your Switch. It's the most painful thing in the world to a special order for a Switchblade. Yeah. <laughs> because you have three. <laughs> <laughs> and no, if, if I play two, I always have to special order for it, so I'm like, nope. Not the same. And this is what happens then. So this is a ghost runner, very important because yeah. now maybe the account siphon play might be worse than possible. Although he is very high on credits. Yeah, he's very high. Well, he's nine. I mean, he can't rest. I mean, the world. Whatever he reses there, he has to. It will. Oh, nice. The good thing I render because that is going to be another sensi. It's not like he can res a world or anything. It's just that um, it would. You would waste uh, stealth credits and might not still make it in because refractor might not cut it at the same time while switchblade is breaking sentries. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. We'll Let's have see. to see. Just two data sucker tokens? I'm not really feeling it for Andromeda right now, though. No. Mm, no, not really. Not Wasn't able to do a lot of cut. Um, uh, like central server pressure. It seems like I, I was struggling to get out early. Yeah. And the pad campaigns really helped. Can't even put my finger on what the problem was. I, I think I was missing the card draw. I, if, if that was a. Um, you have a, had an early um, hotel? Yeah, hotel? something like that, yeah. But the oh. thing is, he had three path campaigns, a Mamba Temple, and you didn't have the security testing. <laughs> uh, so look at him double sweep sweeping here. So now he has so much money. If I even if I count siphon him, this will just fizzle yeah. out. This will, but I'm yeah, I have to do you that have to, now. You have right? to try it. Yeah. I love how you put like your uh, chest bones. Oh, yeah, go. and they they help tr tracking stuff. But sometimes they're confusing. Well, of course, he has two Mamba temples, so... Uh, Which is the misplay, as we said. He could have rested way earlier and saved a Yeah, he could have. <laughs> Alright, so now is the... Yeah, here is now, the big now, deal. Now when we get into painful yeah. stuff. So Archangel and afterwards... Uh, one and one, uh, and you gain five, basically. Yeah, but still, like I have to use a lot of stealth credits. And then another one. And now you have to spend two stealth credits, which is such a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> so that's cost me three, four stealth credits to get to the yep. server. And three of them were not recurring ones. Which is somewhat expected. I mean. And I had to I even invested a lot of data sucker tokens in this, so... <laughs> Ouch. Maybe trust the Mamba Temple first before you go and do that? Removing the tags. Removing the tags? Why? Um, oh, um, you yeah. need the security testing, you need to keep the security yeah, testing. Yeah, I can just need security testing. Although, you do have 15 credits. It's not like you would like really hurt if you didn't. Yeah, but he, he has the money to trash it. Like there's, it would be no, no yeah, big deal. Is, which is fine. Just let him trust it. Waste the click. But uh. you, you need more tempo than you need uh, credits right now. You can actually negate everything just by going and trusting stuff afterwards. Oh well, I mean that's a different route to take. You took this route now, and where what's in this? Difficult, difficult uh, choices here. Yeah, I, I feel like the deck is not working as <laughs> intended. Again, uh, I'm used to ice being paper thin after my stuff is installed, but this is not paper thin ice. This is really substantial. Yeah, I can cannot afford to run on HQ anymore. <coughs> like HQ is pretty much out of the question now, unless maybe I get another Ghost Runner out down. But that's like the second Ghost Runner I used up in this entire game. Sports Hopper. Sports Hopper is great. Yeah. Uh, although. Uh, I mean, it's great if you have multiple sports hoppers, then maybe you can don't have to break the Archangel anymore. Yeah. Well, it's a trace six. It's not really uh, going to work. That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but maybe against the Turnpike. Yeah, that is true. Because that's usually two self-credits to break with a uh, switchblade. I think you're, you're just going to pop the sports hopper at the start, right? Yeah, and probably use it for a draw. 
And which is also horrible, like it costs a lot of money. Although I have that money right now, so that's not a big, big deal. Can he just install another server and draw another card? Yeah, I think he's not drawing the agendas he wants. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, All you're right. popping it. Another sports hopper, a ghost runner, and something else. Ghost runner is good. And a councilman, I think I saw or something. I think I should mm, do more. I should have done more R and D pressure now. Because the the servers on R and D are not really that taxing. So what's the dealio here? What you're gonna go yeah, for? Yeah, there we go. R and D. Uh, I'm guessing I don't have the R and D multi access that I wanted. No, you went for security testing. Oh. Oh, well, that's true. What is that? Oh, it's a sensi. Oh my Another god. Another sensi. How many sensi are in this deck? <laughs> and then oh, that's, uh, no. That's why you should have checked that first, I think. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. And that was my turn. Yep. Just checking the things that you installed and getting money in. I'm very it. afraid of what's happening. Uh -oh. I'm very afraid. Might be, might be score. Very afraid. Might be a score, yeah. Yeah, score. it's a score. It's Astro? Yeah, it's another Astro. Oh my god. So he's up to five <coughs> points, and I haven't seen a single agenda yep. yet. Well, you are seeing agendas just on the opposite side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're seeing it's a lot a, of agendas. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> You're just watching them pass by. Uh, yeah, you have to use the sports up for Cartro yep. because, man, I need to. It's not bad, it's pretty great. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, so you got a hotel, which is good. Yeah, right. and money is... Like, was that, want was to... that two hotels and a gamble? Yeah, I think, I think so. so. Uh, <laughs> oh, inside job. Yeah, you have to. You kind of have to. For a single card access on the Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be costing me now four stealth credits to get in there if I want to yeah. break the stuff. And uh, still three normal credits. So yeah, this is just ridiculous. You trust it? You trust it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it there because I want him to uh, uh, to draw into it. Oh my god! I bet he has a biotic in that. No, <laughs> this is just no, so ridiculous. Kind of oh my god! <laughs> so all the Cybernex and all the Sensi's now. <laughs> Sen the Sensi Actors Union is trying to hire Andromeda to join them. It, they're, they're really. Really, like Rene has like some kind of special deal with them, I think. They're very interested in having Andromeda on board. Yeah, yeah, this Andromeda is not having a good time right now. Hmm. There's nothing you can do. Just play the hotel and just. just yeah. I don't know. Pray to the seven gods that you won't draw and the seven and Zenda in the next five turns or so. <laughs> We're see now. Even though I'm using the pawns, I'm kind of. Um, we were miscalculated, I think. Yeah. Okay, so there's the hotel. I probably should have played the sure gamble before. No, it doesn't really matter. You have to go fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Is. Oh my god. There was more uh, more ice on uh, more agendas on hand. <laughs> look at that. There was <laughs> and look at this. End. Look at those servers. Like, <laughs> so that's why that was the game. That was uh, literally the game where I decided like stealth doesn't cut it anymore. Yeah. Uh, because this is like this is something that can happen now in against NBN. If you had Gordon Blade, look at this server. Yeah, Gordon Blade would have been great. Like the Gordon Blade would have been nothing. Would have trusted this through. server. Would have been like even positive, not positive yeah. in total. Yeah, it was like, wait, wait, let me, let me count. It's a two, and um, the little engine is a seven, so you need five to pump it, and two to break, so seven, and you gain back five. So you're at minus two, minus one for the archangel, plus five. So you are uh, plus two, and you waste one for you pay one for the archangel. So you're plus one at the end of the run. Plus desperado, plus one. So <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're, so you're basically making two credits out of that run. Yeah, and the other reason is like the turnpikes are also very painful with stealth. Yeah. And you can see two turn two turnpikes turns off the server, and they cost four credits in total to res. Yeah, it's basically like little sentries that can ruin your stealth. Uh, yeah, your and stealth the build. little sentries weren't really playable. I saw like even, sometimes I saw a player playing something like um, a guard. Yeah, and they were really nice. They were texting, but nobody plays guards otherwise. And yeah, yeah. and so, but the turnpike now become became popular, and we, we see turnpikes coming up in uh, upcoming tournaments. And so, like, this is, like, not a really viable build against these kinds of decks. 
Oh, and there's a noise showing your cards. Yeah, that's, that's Pumego again, uh, showing uh, important cards here. <laughs> this Pointing. is how you lost, Christian. It was this and this that made you lose. Yes, thank you, thank you. Also, yes, this made you th lose. Th this is also made you lose. This, <laughs> it would have great if you have seen this it's instead like, of the things that you saw. It's like rubbing it in your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rubbing it in my face. A bit of a painful uh, game here, but I learned a lot. Yes. Uh, and it was also I was again I was just I achieved my goal I, I got the mat I was like in a haze at this point I was like high on the hello darkness my old friend I've come to talk with you again because most of all you learn how to hack the hack planet, the planet! <laughs> I got planet! <laughs> nice transition <laughs> bro <laughs> that's like way Shit on me this episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.